Hello everyone, it's AKW Blaze91 once more. And today I've got another unboxing video for you. And this is one kind of unboxing that I've been wanting that's been on my mind ever for a good long while. Because of my reevaluated interest in the Wii, there's been one thing that I've been wanting to do with the Nintendo Wii with the Wii Remote. And that was the interest of using it as a controller for my computer, more so for Lycan games. Which is why I decided to get a set of peripherals to use on my computer. Hence the, hence the reason why for this video I'm going to be taking a look at some uh, accessory, uh, my Wii remote, uh, a new Wii remote I got, a sensor bar which I got, and also my new guns which I'm going to use on my PC. As well as the Wii. So, I'm going to start off showing off my new sensor bar I got. Now, I got a set. I have got the set all, finally all here. And it did take me a while to get all, all of them because I purchased, as I got three of them all separate. Because all three products separately. Um, because off of Amazon, and frankly, and frankly, the, they all they all have come now. So let us begin. Here is the sensor bar, which is the the Mayflash wireless sensor bar, sensor dolphin bar, remote to PC USB. And yes, this is a sensor bar that can connect to the PC, allowing you to use your Wii Remote and other Wii related accessories on your computer. And that's cool, because I want to use, because I would like to use my Wii Remote on my PC for, for, for all my like and stuff. So, it, so yeah, that's the sensor bar. And here's the Wii Remote, which I'm using. I've decided to get the Wii Remote, Wii, the Wii Motion Plus. The Wii Remote Plus, which has the Motion Plus built inside, because these are more or less like the current Wii Remotes that you should use. As these ones are like, these ones have got more motion, and they've got the Motion Plus built into it. So this is good. So this, so this one should be good. I got this one second. I got this Wii, I got this Wii Remote Plus second hand, second hand, but it still works. But it still works very. But still works fairly. I did try it out before um, I started doing this video. And now here's the guns I'm going to use. And that is the the Wild West Shootout. Which actually just has the box with the two guns inside and no game. I think you can get, I think online you can actually get the game inside. I think online it would have the game. It would come with this in this very box with the game inside, but the one I, but the one I purchased here on Amazon, actually just has the two guns with it, which has the white gun and the blue gun. I did have a little bit of a peek and in, peek inside here, but yeah, this is the um, box. It's normally meant to come with a game. Wild West Shootout, which is another one of them rail shooter games. Yeah, when you've got the spinals on the side. Yep, the logo. And on the back is the description. Includes two sure, sure shot revolvers for multiplayer action. Great with all light gun games using the re, using the remote. Realistic feel of an enhanced gameplay. Experience all like and games. Economic grip with responsive trigger. Allows connection of a nunchuck. And this one actually does seem interesting because it actually has two triggers on it. One of the triggers activates the A button. And here's the Wild West game. And here's the Wild West shootout game. Wild West shootout is an arcade style shooting game for the Wii. For one or two play players that can be played with the Wii Remote or Wii Zapper, which is that piece of crap controller device over there. 
Yeah, I don't. Yeah, again, I don't like the Wii Zapper peripheral. The official Nintendo Zap Wii Zapper. It's not that great. It's not that good of a controller, to be honest. Your goal is to stop the outlaws who has been robbing the bat the countryside and stat stealing the farm animals playing playing in 3D all of your Wild West shootout adventures can be experienced in glorious 3D. Yep. I know there's some yeah, very nice screenshots there. Alright, so without further so so without further ado, let's start unboxing them. Let's unbox the sensor bar first. I'll show you the box. I'm gonna show you this on the on the back here. It shows sensor bar and then TV and screen, showing where it can connect, showing where you can connect the Wii Remote, the Nunchuck, the classic controller, etc. And the wireless sensor bar can can connect, and the features it can use. Wireless sensor dolphin bar can connect your Wii Remote Plus controller to your PC by Bluetooth. Supports TR remotes. Supports the newest dolphin, easy and simple operation. No extra don extra Bluetooth dongle. Supports anti cursor. Supports cursor anti shake function. Allows you to play quickly and precisely with your game controller, like an old racing wheel. Versus a normal keyboard and mouse. Versus a PC remote controller, you can you can return or skip to the beginning of a current. Please or the next chapter and supports fast, reverse, fast forward and play, etc. Works as a game light gun. You can play all kinds of PC shooting games and PC or Wii light gun is well supported. But I'm not going to be playing Wii games on my PC because I've already got the Wii itself. Why would I want to play Wii games on my computer? Unless, unless there's any of the games um, that's not released in Europe. And the second um, Nerf game that was released on the Wii, um, Nerf and Strike Elite, I think it was. Well, that game got released in America, but the game did not get a release over here for whatever reason. Works as a wireless game controller. Yep. This was the G-Synth serve function as the best choice for racing games. Yep. Supports, supports this, and it's compatible with Windows 7, 8, and should work fine with Windows 10. And I have also downloaded the um, the what the, is it, the Touch Mode app, which you need, you know, what you need in order to get this working. And it boot, and the app boots up fine. So anyway, here's the sensor bar. <clears throat> And here is um, what I believe is a stand. What I believe is to be a stand. And here's the and just a bunch of just a bunch of stuff. I'll keep it in here in the box in case I need it. And now here's the wrapping. Again, I'll wrap that up. And this is the dol and this is the sensor bar, the dolphin bar sensor. Here we go. Unwrap all this. So, all this. So, this is the sensor bar. 
And all you do is you plug in the sensor bar through USB on your computer and and then you press the sync and then once the once you start the Wiim the touch mode app you press the sync button on the on this and then you press the sync button on the Wii remote press it for a press and hold it for a few seconds then hopefully it'll come on got a mode system here yeah fair enough so that's what you do when you when you're ready to connect a Wii remote to your computer so that's good that's good And now, let's unbox the the guns that I've got, and let's have a look at the. No, let's have a look at them. I'm just gonna dangle it because I'm, I'm gonna do this with one hand. It's just not easy. Or I can just do it this way. There you go. So here it is, it's got two of the guns. You got the white one, and you got, like I stated, the blue one. Out of all of these, I like the white one because it does go along with the Wii's um, white, white um, color scheme. Right. So this is the Wii, this is the revolver, and it does look like, and it definitely does, and it does seem like it's got a revolver. It's got your trigger, which presses the B button right here, and a second, and a second trigger there, the A button, pulls this one, and it's meant for tap for pressing the A button. So pretty nice, and it's got a lot of room for it for it to fit in. Um, the Wii remote that has the Motion Plus inside. So let's set it up then. So here, this is what you do: you move this up so that now you've got all the move space to put the Wii remote in. But you might want to move this thing up, this thing here, this second trigger, this handle, this top here. And then you take your Wii remote and then you pop it in. And then you make it and make it ensure that it's rested on here. Plop it over, there you go, and then optionally you get the nunchuck here, and then you get optionally you can put the nunchuck in, in here, so, uh, and I'll get my nunchuck very, very quickly. Okay, jump cat. I got my, my nunchuck right here. What are my two nunchucks here? I've got the other one that's plugged into my zapper. And yep, this one's got a tangled wire. Here we go. Okay, so and then to plug in into the and to plug in the nunchuck. And you just top it into the Wii remote. But uh, oh, this is not easy to do in this with one hand. 
You're gonna have to bear with me. Basically, you stack the thing in there. It'll be all so that. There you go. And then you slide it out here and close it. And there you go. The Wii Remote and the Nunchuck are now in the device and, ra and you're ready to play. And there you go, and there you go, it's lighting up, it's showing you that it's working. First trigger, that's the B button. Second trigger, the A button. There you go, it's ready to go. So that is basically your setup for, the, for using, for setting up the remote device with the gun controller with the gun shell and first impression with the gun shell it actually doesn't feel it doesn't actually feel too bad it actually feels very comfortable comfortable holding yeah pretty nice i like it and i like the revolver shape of, of it as well there was another revolver shaped um like gun which was like uh the house of the dead hand cannon but seeing how expensive that is, I went with this cheaper one. This one was £20. The gun shell was £20 and it came with the two. The Wii Remote, the Wii Remote Plus, they vary from third, usually, third, usually terrible third party ones that break easily. I think they break easily, I'm not sure. But I usually never like getting the third party Wii Remotes. Uh, they usually vary from 10 if you're getting a standard one, or possibly 20 or 30 if you're going for the Wii Remote Plus one. Who knows? But I've never picked up an, an ordinary Wii Remote second hand. The sensor bar was like, I think it was 28 quid for 28 or something. And the gun, and the two guns, were $19.99. So all of this in total would have costed me £75 for all of these. Now, considering that these Lycan... Now, now, considering that the Lycan controllers on PC are so expensive, they cost like, um, like you know, 100, 100 to like £150, because they contain like some kind of um, special camera or something to make them... Um, work on PC like the Sindon light gun does this is actually not that bad this is actually not too bad considering what I've got <clears throat> gotten and the fact that I've gotten two guns as well makes it makes the deal much more white much much more much more manageable much more for me And I actually really do, and I actually really do like what I've what I've been given, what I've gotten myself with. So we're actually going to try see if we can set up the gun on my computer, my Wii remote, and the gun on my computer. And like I said, I've got the I got the Touch Mode app installed ready, but we just need to set up the we just need to set up the sensor bar so i'm gonna jump cut to when we actually get the sensor bar the gate the gun the wee remote and the gun set up and eventually and eventually and i'm eventually going to install some games on there so so be 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 a moment right here it is i got a reman raven rabbits 2 here which is one of the few games I have on the Wii that I use the A button for reloading. And I'm going to play it don't like this.
No, you weren't. My aim is not perfect, assuming I'm filming and... I'm filming and playing at the same time. But I'm hoping it's giving you the idea now this. giving you the idea of um, it working standardly on the Wii, just on the Wii platform itself. But the gun feels nice, but the gun does feel quite nice. Trigger is something I can, do need to get a little used to. But it's something I can get. It'll some. It'll be something I can can get. Rabid. There you go. My aims is not perfect. But I hope you uh, that's Sure, like I'm not sure that. One of them. Definitely do loving the way and how it feels. Compared to some of the old controllers I 
and for the Wii, which were tans very uncomfortable. Well, namely the Wii Zapper, that thing was just awful. I do want to try and track down like a, um, a sniper rifle Wii one, a Wii sniper rifle, because the sniper rifle one is one that honestly feels more like a proper rifle, which is what the Wii possibly Zapper could have possibly been if it wanted to. Supply both the Wii Remote and the Nuncha together. And one of them, one of the other guns I would have positive with a life would have gotten my hands on would be the over the over shotgun. But the over shotgun is just too expensive. So my best bet is just to, if I wanted a big um wee gun controller, it's gonna be the um the sniper rifle. If I can find it on Amazon somewhere. Some guy was lucky to get a laugh. Something. But. We're going to take down that funny. There we go. I think that's the level. I think now... Is if I beat the level? Yeah, I'm beating the level. So... Obviously, I didn't beat my old record, but that's fine. So, let's move on. Let's move on to the to getting the gun controller. So that's how using this thing is on the Wii itself. Let's plug it into the PC. All right, here we are, guys. We are now on my PC, and here we are here is where everything is set up as you can see on top there there's the sensor bar the way flash the may flash is up there on top of sitting on top of my monitor and now here's the Wii remote with the gun that I'm using so 
I'm going to show you guys what to do to actually set the Wii remote to the TV. To your, to your PC monitor, sorry, my bad. Now, first of all, obviously, you need to set, put, plug in the, the May Flash into one of the USB slots on the computer. Mine is set down there, behind, in, the, in my motherboard down there, behind one of behind one of the, in the USB ports behind there and and, over here, and then you want to ensure that the touch mode is on so we're going to turn on the, the touch mode app of course that when you act because the, the, the touch mode app is what helps the May flash here connect the Wii remote to your computer so plug in the May flash then download the touch mode app touch mode app install it I'm not going to show myself um, installing it because I've already just installed it It's easy, the TouchMo app is easy to Google app. You'll likely get the first result, which is the which is the which is the the TouchMo app, which is the which is what you need to, to use the Dolphin Bar and then get into the um the TouchMo app and then you want to do the the synchronization with the pair modes. You click on the pair modes, the pair me remotes, and you can either do press the one or two buttons for a temporary um, for a temporary connection, or by pressing the sync, or by pressing both the sync button, which is. I'll show you it very quickly. You can't, you can't, we won't be able to see it very well, but. But right here is where the sink. Yeah, shame you can't see it because it's very dark. But this right here is where you sync and press the sync button to sync the Wii remote. And then you press the sync button on here. Press to hold the sync button for a few seconds on here, and then it'll finally sync up to there, and it will connect the Wii on here. I've already done that, so I can just press it. I can just press it, and it will connect. Now there are modes that can help connect the thing, connect the Wii remote to the to the PC in various different, very in, in, in four different modes. Now for the Lycan games that I want to use, for the Lycan games, you want to make sure that both the light, both the First, and you want the modes where you have the first and fourth light is connected. That's where you will. That's where. That is where you want the. That's where you want the connect. That's where you want the, the Wii remote to be connected. So you can be able to so it will work kind of like a kind of like with a mouse here. It's a shame I can't show it properly. Do the light, but here it is. This is the best I can show it. See, there you go. You can see the cur my when my remote is now moving the cursor. And if you go into settings, I'll put this. I'll put this down. If you go into settings, you got very. You got a couple of options. Setting up the Wii remote, the position of where your sensor bar is, and the control configuration. But I'm just going to leave everything as. I'm going to leave everything on its default. On now everything is all set up. Because 
I'm just gonna leave it that I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now normally I'd leave this thing minimize in minimize because that's how exactly how because I think that's how it operates. I think it operates with with um the touch mo app in the background. As long as it's minimized it won't get in the way. Now we're going to activate the retro arc and I'm going to show you the control layout I'm using for this um, this program to make it work. I've got, I have however got to navigate through using the um, keyboard which is kind of a little bit of a pain but whatever. Now for my light gun games I've got device type player one, <clears throat> player one retro pad Mouse index, me flash, remote PC adapter. This is all that this will allow you to detect um, the May flash control device because it actually does recognize the control device there. Now, if you want to go down, and you can see here is where the light gun controls are gun trigger, gun reload, gun aux A, gun aux B. And gun oh, C, gun start, and gun select, as well as the gun D pad buttons. By but unless you're playing the PS2 emulation on here, I've never tried it, but I'm down gonna bother. And that's where you're gonna be con configuring the the gun controls. And I've done the same for entirely player two. But if I'm playing, you know, Super Nintendo, Sega Mega Drive, or games that require the gun import to port two. I have at the moment the gun trigger for player two sent to mouse one, which is the B trigger, which I have assigned to the B trigger. Auxiliary A is the the A trigger. And start I've set it to up currently, which is on my D-pad. But that's entirely the control settings I'm using. So, we're going to demonstrate it in the gun in action with with a game now. So we're just going to try something on the Nintendo Entertainment System. We're going to try the classic Duck Hunt. Now before, now of course when you reload the ROM you want to definitely make sure that the emulator has the gun as the light gun enabled. Oh, wait, which control was there? Oh, there it is, controls. You want to go to port 2, device type, zapper for player 2. And that's where the Wii Remote will finally be picked up. And here it is. Sorry you can't see it very well, but make do. But there you go, I shot a duck. And I shot another duck. It's not easy I'm to film it like this. But there you go, you can see the Wii Remote working and I'm shooting down ducks with my Wii Remote.
that's hooked into my to my light gun. It's close to getting um the aiming down with a light gun. So not bad and I got a perfect as well. I hope that's giving you guys a bit of an idea of what control setting I'm using to get the zapper working. You have got to make sure though that, I'll show you once I have finished the round. Yeah, and that's nice. Now then, you do want to, if I, once we, once I come out of this, you do want to make sure that you have the right configuration file for import in the driver's menu set to raw because and set to something like raw or udev uh, I unfortunately do not have udev but what I have is raw which works the same way which actually works kind of similar as long as you have raw the import selected to when when you're gonna use this it will help him do the it will help actually help do the import for the mouse controls when using the light gun so that's so that's exactly what you're gonna do so that's exactly what you need to do to get the the controller working the Wii remote um, and the Mi flash working with RetroArch which is what I'm using to play my light gun games on it will take it does take some specific kind of config setup for some games but you just but if you if you're playing a certain type of game that uses um a controller alongside the zapper but you just have to play around with the configs to get it to get it to the right liking and obviously save the config after after doing so so let's try out some of our like them games. Alright, here we go. We're gonna try some Lethal Enforcers SNES version here. And I set the controls just like how I how I would like it. But this time for player two you gotta say it's the justifier. You're gonna play it. Which was the gun you used for Lethal Enforcers for the Super Nintendo. And I'm assuming you gotta do the same for the Mega Drive version as well. Gonna play if you're gonna play the Mega Drive version, but here we go. Here we go, we are in shooting. Close one. Don't 
Now we got Super Scope 6. A nice to set up where I set up the Super Scope. Okay, I'm picking up well. And I'm just gonna pick something easy and um, one of my favorites, the Mole Patrol. Yep, we're gonna shoot, 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 shoot. And it picks up pretty really, really well. <laughs> nice, and I picked up an 88 on it. And yeah, I should have put it in full screen, but thankfully... And, uh, and, and yep, the Super Scope, it actually works pretty well. But there is one little thing I will advise as well, that you can also do in the quick menu is that you can reverse the controls for um, Lycan games. For the Super Scope games. See, there it is. Super Scope reverse trigger buttons. Off. And if you enable it on, the fire and cursor burns get swapped, or swapped over. And there's two games on the Super Scope, I, I recall. Um, the SNES version of Op Op Operation Wolf and the SNES version of Terminator 2 Arcade have the fire buttons and cursor buttons swapped, ro swapped over. Where the fire button is the rockets, the cursor button is the machine gun. Which, um, yeah, and if you try to play it that way, it gets awkward. But thankfully there is an option here in the menu that allows you to to switch mm, to switch to switch those around and I will demonstrate all right here I am in the Terminator 2 arcade game on the Super Nintendo and I've gotten the mm, that ready as well so, so to do the swap over between the buttons, bring out the menu, go to quick menu. Yeah, my interface is going to be a lot, be a lot more different than why you're possibly using with Retro R. But, um, but I'm getting used to it. Mind you, I'm new to using this. Go to like in the options. Go to light gun, and then you'll see. Make sure the mode is tackle is at light gun, and you'll see super scope reverse trigger buttons. Set that to on, and then hit F1 to come out. And now it's time. And now I'm going to hit the A button, um, which is my alternate trigger. And now we're going to. And now we're finally playing this. So the B trigger now, instead of firing rockets, it now fires the machine gun. And the A button now fires 
broken it. So, very beautiful, ain't it? Whoops. Oh, then again, these humans are in the way. That's my excuse. And I'm sitting a little too close to be able to get the game. And I'm using a crappy camera on my PS Vita. Again, that's my excuse. But at least you're getting the idea of what I'm using to play my life in games now. So, I'm actually very happy with the result. Now I can now play like in games effectively on my PC with, a, with my Wii Remote. Plugged in, it's plugged into my gun shell. So, hope you enjoy my setup. Hope you like my little setup. It's a very good setup. I'm actually pleased with it and I'm pleased it's working. <laughs> I'm just having way too much fun with this. So let me, but let me, but I hope you really do enjoy my new, my new light gun setup. Overall, it's better if you're looking for like a cheaper alternative, you know, to the aim track, the Sinton light gun, the gun for IR. If you don't feel like throwing down like a hundred fifty pounds worth, two hundred dollars worth just to get like a gun set up on your computer like the Wii Remote costs like twenty to thirty varying condition and what you're looking for gun again depending from five to ten fifteen twenty depending on what kind of gun you're using Um, whereas, um, the gun itself, plus all the equipment it needs, whatever, it costs like over 200 and it can be much, but it got them for IR, I know, Cinder like gun costs like 180 to like hundreds worth depending on what you want with it and how many you're planning on getting and this is in the sensor bar costs like 30 pounds ish and if you've got your Wii or Wii remote like lying around that you're not using your Wii on your Wii yeah you can just plug that in as well but the motion plus does its job very well And I'm happy with the way this is turning out. Well, it's not perfect. The aim using is not perfect, but but considering um how how the Wii is actually a very good, si a fantastic system for like all the light gun stuff. Yeah, it's one I heavily do recommend. So. 
I hope you I hope you guys have gotten the idea of how this works, how this properly. I've yet I wouldn't I w I would I've yet to tr try this on arcade, but then again I haven't got the arcade core emulator set up. And as for PC gaming, I haven't got the any PC like an actual PC like in games, whatever. But whatever. I hope you guys have gotten the idea how this thing works. I hope it's convinced you that you might want to consider getting something that's cheaper and why not. So I hope you all enjoyed me just blasting wave waves of waves of enemies. But if you do enjoy that, give me a comment like comment comment like and subscribe if you enjoy seeing videos like this. I have got others in, in my channel. So if you enjoyed it I'll see you all in the next video. So take care of yourselves and goodbye. Hasta la vista, baby.